Let's learn how to create a population pyramid in Excel. I'm going to get my data from census.gov where I filter data for Kenya using five age groups. Then I select the year 2022. This is a preview of the data set I'm going to get of age groups, total population, male population and female population. Once you download this, your data will come to Excel in this format. I've deleted some columns, but I'll need to prep this data first. For example, I need to move the age group to column A, so I'll create I'll create a new column here. Then cut this data and put it here. So I love this, then delete this. I'll also create the percentage population for male and female population. So I'm going to call this male uh, percentage. Then divide this, say male population, divide by total population on row number three. And I'm going to lock that and copy down notes, then convert this to percentage. Then I'll leave this in two decimal places or one decimal place. Next, I'm going to create the female population or female percentage on this column. So this will be the female population divided by total population. I lock it using F4 and copy this down notes. Now I'm changing this to percentage and have it in one decimal place. Next step is to create our helper column for the male and female population but in number format. So I'll put that here, this and this, and put it here. Then create absolute values so that we have this as a number. So I'll multiply this times 100, like that, and make it negative. So I'll put it minus, like that, and then change this so that I have also in two decimal places and drag this down to um, row number to the phone. Do the same for female. Do so this times 100. Then copy this down as well to this point and change this to one decimal place. Now it's time to generate our pyramid, our population pyramid. I'll create a new sheet here. Then go to insert. Then on the chart area, I'm going to insert the 2D cluster bar. I'll have it open like that. Then I'll import now the data from the main data set. So I'll start with female by selecting, right click, select data. Then on the legion series, I'm going to add male. So I'll call this male. Then on the series values, I'm going to pick this from this data set like that. Then click OK. I'll get it. You can see a preview of my data already. Add female. So I'm going to call this female, then pick that from the female column here. Control shift down arrow and click OK. Now I'll have it like that. Next is to pick now the series. I want to pick the, the axis. So I'll come here, edit the axis. Then on the axis label, I'm going to pick the age groups. So I'll pick from there down 0 to 4 to 100 plus. Then I click OK. Then I click OK again. So I'll get my pyramid like that. Now I need to to do some few edits i'll double click this then on the axis options i'm going to make sure that the labels here mark as low so that i love this axis at the extreme uh, left double click at the bottom here so that i have the number as absolute so i'll mark the units there so that the maximum is minus 10 like that and also for this the unit is 2 and the maximum there is 10. I'll also change this part so that we have absolute figures on x-axis. Then I'll say the decimal places is zero. Next, I want to make this overlap. I'll double click on the bus, the series, then make sure this is the gap width is zero and then the overlap is a maximum. I'll do that again. So the axis, I can see the borders there are solid line. Now we have our population pyramid display you can finally add a legend so that we have the legend here put the legend at the bottom put the legend at the bottom like that so that we have female and males uh, shown like that thanks for watching my name is david kandir